Let's write the Lewis structure for CH32CO. This is acetone, and you'll see acetone written this way right here as well. It's a little more condensed where we added all the atoms up to give us this kind of shorter formula. The problem with this formula here, if you try to draw the Lewis structure, we have isomers. You could arrange these atoms a number of different ways that would still be valid. So let's go with this one up here to draw the Lewis structure of acetone. So when we look at the formula here, we see that we have this CH3. This is a methyl group. We have two of them, and they're going to be connected to this carbon here in the center. The oxygen will be on the carbon as well. So this carbon right here, we're going to put in the center. Then we have these two methyl groups. We'll put one on each side. Then we can put this oxygen here. It's bonded to this carbon. We'll put that right on the carbon here. So this carbon here has four things bonded to it. This one has four things bonded to it. We really can't put a double bond here because this would then have five things. So let's put a double bond on the oxygen. Oxygen needs eight electrons for an octet, just like carbon. So we can put our lone pairs up here. And now this carbon has one, two, three, four bonds. The oxygen has two, four, six, eight. It has eight valence electrons. Each one of these lines represents two valence electrons there in a chemical bond. And if you count these up, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. So we have the correct number of valence electrons. Each of these atoms has an octet. Hydrogen, it only needs two valence electrons, so it's okay as well. So this is the Lewis structure for acetone. You could also draw it like this here kind of a shortened version. We have a carbon here and a carbon here. That would look like this in three dimensions. Which gives you a little better sense of the molecular geometry. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for CH32CO acetone. Thanks for watching.